An Ebola vaccine is in the works at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. Doctors there have administered a virus to 39 people as part of a clinical trial. The virus causes illnesses in animals, but not necessarily in humans. The subjects are being closely monitored via blood tests to see if they're developing antibodies, which would protect against Ebola. Colonel Sean Remick is running the trial, says the vaccine does not contain Ebola and subjects are not at risk for developing the disease. The colonel says so far subjects have been responding as expected. So what we anticipated was that individuals would have, um, would respond to this vaccine like they would any other live virus. Yellow fever is a live virus, chicken pox is a live virus, uh, measles, mumps, rubella, live virus. So headaches, low-grade fevers, muscle pain, pain at the injection site, those are things that we would expect to see uh, over the course of, of the study. The vaccine was developed initially by the Public Health Agency of Canada, then licensed to a company called New Link Genetics. The trial will last for 180 days. The institute hopes to have enough data to move into the next phase of testing by the end of the year.